Max, the Superhero of the Park Once upon a time, in a small town, there was a boy named Max. Max had a special gift. He could talk to animals. From when he was very young, he understood the birds that chirped, the dogs that barked, and even the fish that made bubbles. Max loved to spend his free time in the park. The trees, the benches, the small pond, everything felt magical to him. But what he loved the most was sitting by the pond and chatting with the animals that came to visit him. One day, upon arriving at the park, Max noticed something strange. Birds were flying in circles above the pond, squirrels were hiding and the fish had vanished. Max approached the water and saw a big plastic monster floating and polluting the water. Oh no! exclaimed a duck, approaching Max. This monster appeared this morning, and ever since, we've been scared to get near the water. Determined to help his friends, Max set out to find a solution. He asked the birds if they had seen who put the monster in the water. A sparrow told him that he saw a group of kids throw the plastic monster into the pond the day before. Max knew he couldn't remove the monster on his own. He needed help. So he gathered all the animals in the park to come up with a plan. Dear friends, Max began. We need to come together and use our combined strength to get this monster out of the pond. After a lengthy discussion, they came up with an ingenious plan. The birds would fetch ropes, the squirrels would attach those ropes to the monster, and the bigger animals, like dogs, would pull the monster out of the water. The operation began. The birds, led by a large crow, brought ropes they found in a nearby garage. With their nimble fingers, the squirrels securely tied the ropes around the monster. Finally, a team of dogs, led by a big Labrador named Bruno, prepared to pull. Max gave the signal, and all together they began to pull. The plastic monster resisted, but with everyone's combined effort, it began to move. Finally, after long minutes of effort, the monster was removed from the pond, leaving the water clear and clean. All the animals cheered and thanked Max for his bravery and leadership. You're our superhero, Max, exclaimed a little squirrel. That evening, the animals threw a grand party in honor of Max. There were songs, dances, and even a hero, shaped cake made of nuts and berries. As the party was coming to an end, Max spoke up. Dear friends, Let's never forget that true strength lies in unity. Together, we can achieve great things. From that day, Max was called Max, the superhero of the park. And every time he visited, animals greeted him with admiration and gratitude. The town's children, having heard of Max's deed, realized the importance of taking care of nature. They vowed never to throw trash in the park again and to always respect the animals. And so, thanks to Max's initiative, the park remained clean and peaceful, a haven for all its inhabitants.